Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Ethereum Constantinople hard fork delay and what led to it and what the actual vulnerability was. Um, so Ethereum has been planning a hard fork for a long time, but they canceled it last week um, as a result of uh, you know, like some vulnerabilities that were found by a security audit firm. Now, uh, from what I understand, there were other uh, people that found that same vulnerability like months ago, but, um, you know, like, I guess they did the security audit, figured this out, and uh, decided to uh, cancel the hard fork or at least delay it by six weeks or so. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, that that's, uh, you know, it was in the works for a long time. I guess they couldn't fix it in time or something like that. But I, I wanted to talk about it because this particular attack was interesting. It's, it's something called a re-entry attack. And generally, um, if you can get into a smart contract, uh, there, there's, uh, you, it should be very limited in what you can do. Um, according to the security audit, you can enter that contract again, and that might allow you to do some nefarious things. Um, uh, in particular, maybe drain it of more money or repeated amounts of the same uh, money or something like that. Uh, in which case, that would be horrible because then a lot of people would be losing money. And uh, and that's that's generally what uh, you know. One one of the things that you have to be very careful about in Ethereum is because it is a Turing complete language. It, it is extremely hard to analyze whether or not you are vulnerable to something or not, or uh, you know wh whether there are paths in which you can um, you know get attacked or something like that. So uh, you know th this this is one of the one of the um, vulnerabilities of Ethereum. And this is why we keep having issues like this uh, that, that pop up every so often. It, and, you know, I mean, thank God they, they uh, figured this out before the hard fork and not after, because um, if it was after, then um, the, it would it would have caused some uh, significant damage, uh, I think, to the ecosystem, or at least to a lot of the holders that had it in certain types of contracts that were vulnerable. Somebody might have figured something out. Maybe they would have had to do another bailout or something. Um, but yeah, I, the, this kind of one of one of the things that happened is that uh, you know they they told everyone, hey, we're we're going to upgrade on this day, and then like two days before they. They decide to cancel it. I, I don't know if there's a better example of centralization than something like that. So, um, yeah, I, it's uh, it's canceled for now. Um, I think uh, it's it's at least kicked out by six weeks. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens. But this is this is sort of a running theme. I'll have a, I have another video on um, on talking about that. But uh, that that's what happened with Constantinople, uh, and I imagine that uh, you know things like uh, hard forks like this will get less and less frequent over time, uh, especially on Ethereum, just, just because it's just so complicated. And uh, the development power and the security audits that you need to do in order to at least be reasonably certain that you're not completely ruining the entire ecosystem um, is not cheap. Um, give, given the architecture that they have. Uh, hope that helps you. Um, this song is.